NJR Medical, helping medicine help people. The NoBite 5, a faster and safer way to use oral hygiene and tracheal suctioning devices that are clinically proven to decrease HAP and VAP. Nasotracheal suctioning. Nasotracheal suctioning can be done every two to four hours on patients with respiratory distress, pneumonia, or moderate to severe weakness. Nasotracheal suctioning is performed to suction out secretions when the patient is too weak to cough up secretions on their own. The suction catheter is inserted into the nares and continues down the trachea to suction out unwanted secretions. During insertion, the suction catheter has a tendency to coil at the back of the throat, usually leading to multiple unsuccessful attempts and nasal bleeding. With the use of the Nobite 5, tracheal suctioning becomes quick and easy. Have your supplies ready. If your patient's condition is deemed appropriate, remove your patient's pillow and tilt the head back to facilitate opening of the airway. Put on your gloves and a mask with facial shield for your protection. Depending on your preference, you can either face the patient or stand at the head of the bed. Insert the Nobite 5 into the patient's mouth. Depress the tongue to facilitate opening of the airway. Turn on the light. Insert the tracheal suction catheter into the guide until the desired depth of the trachea is reached and then suction out secretions. This method allows you to successfully tracheal suction your patient on the first attempt by preventing coiling of the suction catheter. It also prevents the patient from biting down directly onto and damaging the suction catheter. Suctioning above the cup of endotracheal tube, laryngopharynx area. Suctioning above the cuff of the ET tube is known to decrease VAP and should be done every four hours before alternating ET tube position or before checking ET tube cuff pressures. The suction catheter is inserted in the mouth and continues down the back of the throat into the laryngopharynx area. Using this insertion method, the patient can easily bite down on the suction catheter and stop the suctioning process. The patient can bite off a piece of the suction catheter and it has a tendency to coil in the back of the throat. If your patient's condition is deemed appropriate, remove your patient's pillow and tilt the head back to facilitate opening of the airway. Put on your gloves and a mask with facial shield for your protection. Insert the Nobite 5 into the patient's mouth. Depress the tongue to facilitate opening of the airway. Turn on the light. Insert the suction catheter into the laryngopharynx area. Suction out secretions. This method allows you to suction above the ET tube cuff by preventing the patient from biting down and damaging the suction catheter. The NoBite 5. NJR Medical helping medicine help people.